Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Dgray and today we continue our entry level to Megabase series. You're joining in right where we left off at uh, a power crisis situation. So uh, let's fast go and fix that and let's just turn off some of our base to uh, make sure that the miners that are producing uh, the coal can catch up. Um, one of the reasons it went wrong, as I can see right now, is that uh, if you disconnect this, if the whole base will stop, that should deactivate everything down here. And uh, only have power to the top one. So what went wrong is uh, after I moved it, I forgot to do uh, upper priority to the left. That is pretty much the main gist of what went wrong. So let's just collect things to get things up and running because that is uh, a bit of an issue that uh, our power is not running. Of course, not anymore, but uh, it will be quite, quite soon. Uh, while we get this a chance to catch up, we can go and uh, oh, look at that. looks quite cool. Look at our situation with the miners. We pretty much just can't produce enough. We have 160 coal left up here, but that is pretty much stuck in a few very very dense um, clusters so uh, we'll have to get some coal in from somewhere we have two patches out here but that's gonna require an insane amount of belt to uh, to get back so that could be a, a chance to set up a bit of train train systems but uh, I kind of want to hold off with it until we get to our mega base that is the only reason why I'm not doing that, since that would be a very, very good solution. Debate, debate. Let's just we can drag a yellow belt, or maybe even drag a red one, because this is most definitely not uh, an optimal situation to be in. How do we solve this, guys? Because uh, right now our base is most definitely easing too much power. And activating it all will uh, will just make it worse. But I kind of need to power to go to our mall to craft things we need. So let's just try and activate it again and see if we can't uh, disconnect the uh, bus just below our mall. To make sure that is still crafting things we need. And it should be possible to just go down here and uh, disconnect. Is it just this one holding the entire base? Yeah, one pole is uh, what's activating everything below. And that should uh, solve a lot of our power. But look how much the miners are using. That is insane. So hopefully this will uh, will fix things. Let's grab some belts. Let's grab a mix of belts so we can actually get things flowing. And then we'll start with red belts all the way down at the, at the bottom. Dragging it up this way and in. Doing a long, long belt, but uh, that could be fun. I need to activate it from here so it connects up to uh, to the rest. So what if we just connect it from right here? For now at least. Out this way. Remember not to hooking it up to uh, a mall. And then we just kind of have to go down to this. Look, there's like three of them. And get the coal in that way. Let's just go straight down from here and hook it up. And the only reason I'm not taking the small one up top is I don't think I can fit enough miners on it to make a dent in uh, the amount we need in. So let's see here. Ah, 
activate a little robots to do their thing. And I think this is going to give us a lot of coal in and going to serve us very, very well in, uh, in the future. There we are. And let's hook up the rest. Because power is one thing we most definitely can't uh, run out of. That will be uh, very, very bad. So let's just help him out a bit. To be honest, we should probably... Yeah, let's just do red here for now. Yellow will probably be enough. But... Uh, oh, don't do that, please. Come on, robots. Come and get some power. And now I can pretty much just mine them to uh, make it go a bit faster. Ah, continue out and build the rest. So uh, this is uh, a bit of a power crisis we just had. That is uh, something we have to solve very, very quickly. So we don't run into issues like that again. And this entire coal field right here is what's going to save us. To be honest, we could make a power plant down here with the coal from here. Instead of dragging it all the way up here, and I think that could be <coughs> sorry that, a solution so we don't have to drag it uh, that far away. And just moving it from up top. Pretty much uh, one side of it, that is. So uh, let's actually just go and pick up that part of the top one. Because a coal input can't uh, support it anyway. So... Yeah, let's drag it to just water right here. In comes the four lane balance. Oh, a four lane balancer. There we are. We can then drag all of this up. You can just kind of merge together with this one. Then the other four can just kind of go in as they want. Three and oh, number four. And then we can hook up, let's just say one is what's going up right now, this way, to the water up here to the left. And we kind of want it to go like cross up there to save a bit on belts. Luckily, we have that set up right here. Doing a bit of snaky snaky. Which actually is looking quite quite nice when you do this. So now let's make sure we do the pumps to correct place. Um, kind of want to go it going out that way. So you can do one right here, and we can do one below as well. But what if we just do it out this way? So pretty much down the middle. You can pretty much just steal the setup from up here. Please copy uh, this part. Or two right here even. That's 80. And then we'll just kind of throw it down right here. In the middle of uh, nowhere. I think that will be fine. So. There we go. Having double water in. And then you can pretty much just go up north here. From here. And go in. To this side. And if we have more than enough can support here, we can take one going to the right as well. Just getting, getting some water in. That's one of them. And the other one. Where is our pump? Right there. You can just connect up like that. So that is good. We just need to activate this little thing. That will give us more than enough power 
for what we need. Let's just connect both of them up and hook you up to the rest of the factory. There we are. And then we'll connect the rest up. Oh, actually, the rest will connect up afterwards. So let's get our beast running again. After a bit of our mistake. Let's get half of you. Let's get half of you. And then get half of what we have up here. That is just kind of... Uh... Yeah. I forgot to check if a coal patch could support it. And the answer is no. It couldn't. So... Uh... Yeah, let's, let's pick this up and uh, do it correctly somewhere else. So please deconstruct that. Thank you, my little robots. And I'm grabbing these since uh, a robot's going to take one or two at a time. There we are, we can take the pump as well, not that it's need that, but uh, yeah, that way we should be safe up here again, and we can almost activate our factory. Yeah, what a silly, silly mistake to make. Oh, don't we have, uh... oh we do, I thought I might have picked it up. So down to activate that part, hook all of these boilers and miners and not boilers, miners, boilers and steam engines up and then we can activate our factory again. Could actually activate this right now just setting up a small mount and let's just throw in some of these things that we don't need. That being you can go into here for now and i would like to get rid of you as well then we need some more power poles and as i've been saying through this whole series please remember to watch uh, your inputs be that power or uh, otherwise because if not you'll run into issues as this where because the power is going down, the miners are starting to work slower and slower. And that means that they're producing less coal and that's like a death spiral, or whatever you want to call it. It's not a good thing. So luckily, I can kind of solve it like this. Let's just do this so we get into the middle. There we are. Let's do the same up here. Let's get things crafted. And this, are you hooked up to the rest of the base? You are. So uh, hopefully this means that we will run uh, with no issues again. So that was a bit dicey. I will not uh, lie. But uh, yeah. 14 more boilers and 20 more, um, what's it called? Burner and surface, and then we should be good. And then the rest of this can work. Look at that, five sciences. That means we should be able to activate quite a bit of uh, research now. And uh, then have it, don't have any issues. Of course, we'll go and look at the rails again because uh, the lack of power might be the reason why it could keep up before. So let's see here, give me 14. I think that was what we're missing. And let's get ourselves 20 burners. Oh, pretty much just half a stack. I think that is all we need to get it up and running, the rest of it. And then our entire factory can just keep working again. Look, the power is holding strong. Here comes the rest of what it needs. And then we should be good. Then 
There we are. This entire coal patch we can also use to feed into our coal liquefaction. If that is needed at some point, if our oil can't supply what we need for the factory. So look, now things are flowing again. We are producing things. We can start to do some research. But I just want to go look one final time at our... Um, at this one, if it can keep up now. Because it should be able to. But it most... Let's see, is it? Not quite. Do you keep up? No. It is a lack of inserters, like I said. So doing that and doing that and doing that should solve that issue and make him run non-stop. Supplying enough to keep this running at the same speed. Let's see here if we look at our science. As soon as we activate it, that is. Then it should look a lot better. So what should we research? Beacons is needed for uh, the future. But I kind of want to get our rocket silo done so we can start to get our space science. And to see if uh, if this runs as it should. It is grabbing as fast as it can so it should go all the way up before uh, it empties out. If we did our math correct. And... There's no telling if we did. It might just have to catch up first. But yeah, look at that, it fills up. So that is perfect, it should run. If you look at our consumption, as soon as it kicks up into gear, it should be right next to each other. As soon as we get, the, oh, maybe on consumption might be, no, consumption can't, we can't see it on consumption. But uh, until we empty it out, it'll be fine, but they're running. It should work. Now we just have to manage our inputs. As you can see with our green circuits not really supplying everything they should because of our lack of builds all the way down. That is pretty much the main issue. So let's just hook this up. Please go this way. Please X stop you guys. I know you mean the best when you're doing it, but uh it's not really helpful with you guys running around doing things. Right here is a jump place. And this continues down. So let's just hook it up with um, maybe even red belts. But at least we need to hook it up with, uh, with the correct inserters to make it flow down. So underground is fine. We need balancers, we need... Yeah, let's get some more belts. And then let's get all of this... Oh, it is emptying out quite fast now. But I want to do this every place, everywhere again. Up or see on the right. There we are. That way we should have everything flowing down as needed. See what else do we have? One of those right here. And again right here. What's that last one we have? We should probably have more down here. We do have one right here. And that can be fixed if we just move this back to there. And add one, two. Oh, that's not correct. Oh, that's because the way we balance things. Oh, it's because it's inside, so it's actually fine this way. I think. Also, we have to do it up here, maybe? To right. Right to right. No, up right to left. Yes, yeah, so we do something like that. Should uh, get it all through if we have enough throughput. And you will have to jump as well to there and do one of you again. Output to right, oh sorry, left and right. That way the output one is gets uh, the first take of everything. Uh, 
And last one down here. To be consistent. There we are. Oh, come on, you stupid robots. <laughs> I'll just pick you up so you don't have to fly so far anymore. There we are. So does that mean that all of our greens is being used? Because we can't fill up everything down here. Yeah, everything's being consumed on the way down. So that means we'll probably have to expand this out one further. So let's just add in some landfill, getting rid of this little area. And I think that is enough to at least expand it out times two. So right here seems correct. Go. Let's see if we have enough. We are missing just a few of these. And that is why this setup is so, so nice, because it's so easy to expand. And with direct insertion, it just, it just works. Should probably upgrade to new power pools soon, so we don't have to keep relying on uh, on these. I can show you a neat trick to upgrading all of your power pools to uh, the next tier. If you take an upgrade planner, put it into inventory, then you can say I want to upgrade from small electric poles to medium electric poles. If you then just mark over this area like this it will say oh it takes 78 and i'll say yes please do that and look at this they'll then change them all out and not touch anything else and that means that we can just go grab some of these and uh, then our blueprint will be correct for the future and i don't need to handcraft any more of uh, small electric power poles Um, how many green circuits are we consuming at the moment? We're consuming everything we're producing. <coughs> so I kind of want to expand it out one more time. That just means we'll have to go grab a bit more landfill to fill in the land. Yeah, probably say it like that. Let's just grab our bits. Hopefully that is enough can't see why not and let's expand out our green circuit factory a bit more i'm just pressing the plus, plus and minus button on the numpad side to uh, change the size of size of uh, what we are printing can I say like that what we are landfilling Do this and just line you up right there. Let's get a few more in. And that means we'll have to upgrade to, uh, to red belts as well because um, what's it called the copper is not reaching all the way down anymore. So that means we are consuming what pretty much amounts to two red belts of, uh, of copper on the grounds. Let's go back again, see what else we're missing. So let's just do that. Oh, we need uh, what's called inserters as well. Then we'll just have to go and do this. Please upgrade you to red and you to red as well up here. And then we like to get red to go this way. So we can go all the way down to the end. And do the same over here. I 
And there we are. That's a steal, pretty much two full lanes coming down. And that means that's pretty much all what's called the copper we are producing right now. Those two will eat if uh, if they are allowed to. And they can consume that much of this. But at least that much is being siphoned off. So that's why uh, almost nothing is, uh, is going to go through here until these are filled. Oh, I don't mean to do that. There we are. So putting in the rest. And then I think we do have enough green circuits for the foreseeable future. Uh, pop holes. And there we are. This is all working now. Oh. Oh. Did I make such a silly mistake that these can't keep up supplying a green soap? Oh. Well, that's a silly, silly mistake. So I have to upgrade all of this to uh, fast and surface. Or pretty much just this one. Let's just give this test. Please upgrade all of you and see if that can't help a bit on the speed. Because that should mean that these can uh, move more fast enough. Yeah, we pretty much just need to upgrade all of this to, uh, to red as well also the iron input so let's do that should we just upgrade all of it to red yeah let's do that i think that is a good solution please go from this one to this one from that one to here and i think there's one more i had to do yeah this oh this one to that one and that one to that one that is pretty much upgrading all of this except our inserters. And I think that is exactly what uh, we need. Because look at that. Now we have at least the output fixed. So let's just do this. That's going to give our robots a lot to do. And we'll have to go grab a few things and sort some things out as well. So this is pretty much turned into let's fix our green circuits. Uh, episodes so we don't uh, need them further down the line which is uh, quite quite important also means you'll have to do some reds there and there so let's see what we're missing for this to uh, all work Yeah, we are more than covering all of it. So let's see this. And then we'll have to upgrade the main bus as the last thing this episode. So we can uh, keep it running. Oh, and look at that copper just getting eaten. Go, go, little robots. Please fix it for me. So look how nice this is looking, guys. That is uh, it's just brilliant. It is a bit of waste to upgrade it down, upgrading it down here, to be honest, since it's not really necessary until we get about halfway up. But uh, just to be a bit consistent with it, let's uh, just make sure everything gets upgraded. Power is more than strong enough, but look at that. <laughs> the miners are just working faster and faster. And the coal is going fine now, and the same down here should be fine. Oh, it seems we might be missing to hook one of them up, so let's just check that before we end the episode. When we go down and upgrade the rest of this. Oh, I just ran out of blues yet again. And that means we can actually throw a few of these back in. No need for me to have that many on me. 
we go. And there we are. Everything is now upgraded. That is extremely nice. So, um, so yeah, let's just upgrade the rest down here and then uh, we are ready to uh, end this episode. Um, yeah, let's grab some more red belts so we most definitely have enough to, uh, to go all the way down. It should then take that long to do. So uh, let's take our trusty blueprint right here. Please upgrade those and upgrade that. Is all of this upgraded? It's not. It is now. And then, please just upgrade all of this all the way down. Let's see here. Get a bit more. That way we don't miss anything by doing this. And that is uh, one of the most important things by doing it this way. Underground. Let's get splitters. And... That should be good. Oh, not this one, sorry, that one. Please do this and continue down. And look here, that's oh, the last few. Oh, and then we're gonna have two full red belts flowing down. That is brilliant. Go, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Could do it some by hand now, I think. Just to help them out a bit. Then we'll just later see if anything is missing somewhere. Which uh, is probably gonna be the case. It would be strange if I didn't uh, miss something while I'm going down this way. Here we are, and the last few things. Then I don't think we can do anything else to improve our uh, green circuit situation, and I think it is more than fast enough at the moment. And that is the end of the line. And by the end of the line, that's also gonna be the end of the episode. If we just look at our green circuit production, 1.8, it's going down again because we're not producing, consuming as much as we're producing. And this one is fine. So, while I run and set up the last power pole we need out here, that we uh, are missing to get it to 120, please uh, consider giving me a like and a subscribe. It would mean the world to me, even though it might not mean that much to you. It, uh, yeah, it, uh, it helps me out a lot. So there we are. I'll end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Degray, and I'll see you next episode. Bye.